Are you looking for some fun activities to do with your kids this summer in Vera Beach, Florida? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to unpack all of the great things that I love to do with my own children and what we're planning on doing this summer. So stick with me here and let's unpack some fun. All right, I'm gonna break this video up into two little sections. So the first section is gonna be outdoor activities and the second section is going to be indoor activities because some days it's just too hot to be outside and you need to be inside or some days you just don't wanna do a water activity with your kids. So let's hop right into it. So the first activity that I always look forward to in the summertime is when the fountains at Royal Palm Point come on. So they turn the fountains off. We go to these beautiful fountains right at the end of Royal Palm Point, right next to like abuts um, the Barber Bridge, the North Bridge and Bureau Beach that goes over. It's really a cool spot. It's beautiful. It's right on the Indian River Lagoon. And the fountains are off all year long until summertime when school lets out. So as soon as school lets out, they turn those fountains on and it becomes a really lovely splash pad area for kids, like younger kids, I would say. And my kids are younger kids conveniently. So this is one of the things that we really love to do. I love the fountains because it's primary, it's a like, semi-gated like there's an open gate entry to get there but it's got a buffer all around it's got seating built in a lot of times there's shades there's picnic tables there's bathrooms so it's really convenient for families with kids you pretty much have everything that you need there you can bring snacks you can be, bring food you can bring drinks if your kids get tired of the splash pad they can play in the grass or they can walk down um, to the boardwalk and see if they can see any fish or dolphins or turtles from the boardwalk there in the Indian River Lagoon. So really cool spot. We look forward to this again, like all year long. My kids can't wait to go to the fountains. School just let out. So we're gonna be going there this week, I believe. The other thing that I wanna mention about the fountains is that it is free, free admission, free parking, um, free admission. There is no fee at all to access this activity. The next activity I'm gonna be doing with my kids this summer is the McKee Gardens Kids Zone. They've got this really great pirate ship in the back that they built out. It's so cool. It's essentially like a playground area, but it's not your traditional playground. There's no swings, there's really no slides. It's more of like a little adventure area. They can go up this pirate ship. Um, there's like little climbing, ish situation there's like this a rope tunnel there's these really beautiful they made these um mushrooms you can kind of climb on the mushrooms it's really it's really a neat spot and what they also have there is a really small quaint little splash pad my kids love this splash pad. They like to go back and forth from the pirate ship to the splash pad. And then typically on our way in and out, we'll do like a quick little loop, one of the loops um, through McKee and see some of the plants and some of the flowers and trees and things like that. Membership is required here. So it's by membership. You have to buy like a family membership plan. It's not a cumbersome expense. I want to say, don't quote me, but I want to say it's like $70 for the whole year for the family. Um, but do your homework if that's something that you're interested in. The grounds are magnificent, extremely beautiful. I love Mickey Bot Botanical Gardens. Um, if I have an excuse to go there, I will. So on a hot day, if we're sick of Royal Palm Point because we've been there all week, or if it's too busy over there at the fountains at Royal Palm Point, we'll go to the splash pad at Mickey. That is one of the things that we really love. And if you guys are a splash pad family too, I would recommend that you look into that. Um, the other thing that's great about McKee is that they have a cafe right there. You have to be careful about the hours because they do kind of vary their hours through the week. But I like that there's a cafe there. If the kids get hungry, they've been playing, and it's lunchtime or snack time, you can pop right there into that cafe and they have food and drinks um, available for the family. They also have bathrooms right off of that kid area, which makes it super convenient. Um, again, for families with kids that need you know, quick access to a bathroom, if you know what I mean. 
All right, next is, duh, the beach. We're in Vero Beach, Florida, and one of the most magnificent things about Vero Beach, Florida is our amazing beaches. They are beautiful, they are uncrowded, there is free parking, and I just really, I'm so partial to it, but I just really, really love our beaches here in Vero Beach. So it's totally free. Um, parking depends on exactly which beach access you go to, but I've never had really any issue with parking unless you go up towards JC Beach towards the boardwalk, because you do get a lot of people who like to walk the boardwalk and sometimes parking is a little tricky. Um, but honestly, there are so many great free beach accesses all along the coast here in Bureau Beach. You can just pick where you wanna go. Here's my insider tip. So I really love the Hummiston Park beach access. Number one, because there's a great playground there. So you can take advantage of the playground if you want to. Full playground, swings, slides, climbing gym, you name it. There's a big grassy area. It's a lovely um, playground. It's one of our favorites here in town. And right off of that playground is the beach access, the Hummiston Park beach access. And I love it because number one, it's a lifeguarded beach, which is a great option if you have families with small children. I also love it because it's got showers and spigots for washing off all your beach stuff, washing all the sand off yourself. So you don't have you know sandy feet and sandy everything going into your car that'll never come out. You've also got bathroom facilities right there, which is necessary for a beach day with kids. So really convenient, everything that you need really um, at that beach access. I also love this location because it's right adjacent to some restaurants. You've got Nino's, you've got um, Citrus Grill. I would not take my kids there, it's on the fancier side. But you do have Nino's, which is a great option for kids and families. Um, you've got Kilwins right across the street, my kids' favorite. You've also got Francesca's, which is another pizza and Italian place. So if you wanna grab lunch, super convenient, very easy. And who isn't getting ice cream after they go to the beach? Okay, so to close out our outdoor summer fun activities, these two are not in Vero Beach. This is a Vero Beach video, but I have to mention them because they're so fun. Uh, we have North County Aquatic Center, which is up in Sebastian. You have to check it out if you have kids. They have a whole swim area. They have um, a splash area. They've got uh, water slides, I'm trying to say water slides. They've got water slides, like it's a really fun aquatics center. We will definitely be visiting that this 